I put in a lot of energy in order to publicize the method of the wisdom of Kabbalah. And I invested many, many efforts into it in the past 40 years. And people that look at me from the outside, they're stunned. Where do you get the fuel to do it, the strength, the importance? You're ready for it at any given moment. You never miss a lesson. You never miss a show, radio, television, meeting people, traveling. Why? And who are you dealing with? Ordinary, simple people. So there's also a question here. Maybe I'd like to explain it just once, because it has to do with effort. Laziness and effort, one versus the other. I don't feel this as an effort. It's a wonder, and it's exa an example. Why? Because I'm investing the most important thing in the most important place. And people are asking me, who are you teaching? Who's out there? Who are you talking to? It's simple people. You can find thousands like them on the marketplace. I'm investing in the most important place called the soul, where no one sees. And the most important thing is that I'm making a connection between the upper light, the upper force, and a person's soul. And therefore, when I'm engaged in such important matters, that there's nothing more important in our world. So I do have the energy and the strength and what laziness can there be if I have an opportunity to touch a person's soul, to really drip a few drops of light in there. And therefore we see that everything depends on the importance. There's no fatigue, there's no laziness, but if it's important, you always have the energy for it, as long as the body is alive, as long as it can physically work, stand it. Therefore, everything depends on the importance. So you don't need strength or energy in order to work, but you need the importance. Meaning if something is important, I don't feel the effort. No, we can see it in life. A person who is ill, suddenly he's working, he has energy and everything, he gets healthy as a result. He burns up his entire disease. Okay, let's try and understand this a bit better. What kinds, types of efforts are there? There are physical efforts more internal, emotional, intellectual efforts. An effort is something very broad. No, the effort is an inner effort, first and foremost. It is an effort which I have to make if the importance of something is not clear. If the reward that I envision is in doubt, if it's far from me in time, this is the inner effort, this is the calculation that a person makes. How much effort should I put in? And so, yes, and so on and so forth. We see it very well on children or animals. They make, they make very simple calculations, small calculations. The same with us. If we're lazy at school or something, where does that come from? We see no reward, it's not worthwhile. We're told that later on you'll get this, that, I don't know. Instead of that, I want to be running around with my friends someplace and so on and so forth. Therefore, here it's the matter of importance, and importance depends only on society, the environment. Not only society, but the environment, the environment being books and movies and internet and television, what society appreciates, everything that works on me from the outside, it's called the environment, and the way this media influences me, it determines the importance I have towards each and everything in life.
it arranges my values, the scale of values, and accordingly, I look at everything and relate to everything.